there is a crew that would be perfect for my ship. Add it here. And there we go. A storm is coming. I think we should be serious. Perfect. What I just showed you was what Nana Banana can do, and it has been taking over in the image modeling space. And I also added Veo 3 at the end for the video. This is the worst I've ever seen, but we'll make it through this storm. And the reason I'm showing you this is because I have an N810 full automation that from Telegram, you give it an image or a couple images together with a prompt. It's going to take that through to the edit image agent. It's going to use Nana Banana to edit that image based on your prompt. It's going to send that over to another agent to get ready for Veo 3 to create that into an eight second video. And then finally send that back to you in a Telegram message. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how this works, what Nana Banana is, and what I use to make all this work. First, what is Nana Banana? Well, it's Google's new image model that has been taking over right now. It is absolutely amazing. And it's probably the most popular image thing that I've seen in a while. Like when we're just talking about image models, it is absolutely amazing. So here is an example where I'm using fall.ai, which I'll go over, where you take a guy and a car, we say make a photo of the man driving a car down the California coastline. And I mean, this is pretty good. It takes the car, takes the man, puts him in the car, and he's driving down a coastline. You know, there's water. So it's pretty realistic, or at least it's, it's a pretty good editing model. Uh, you can go through Google Gemini. You can take their API request. You can test it there. It'd probably be a little bit cheaper. But I'm using fall.ai because it kind of makes it easy for all these different models. They give you the API, everything you need to kind of really integrate into your automation. And so for instance, for Nana Banana, I can just click on API. And if you follow these steps, which you don't have to do because I've already done it for you when I give you this automation, it just makes it easy to integrate it into whatever you're doing. And according to Image Edit Arena, Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Preview, which is the actual name of the model, Nana Banana is the code name. It is currently the highest score image model. Okay, so let's look at the steps on how this is gonna work. So the first step is that we have a Telegram trigger. So whenever I send a message from Telegram to the bot, it is going to be an image. So in this case, I put Shaggy and a Crunch Fitness background together into one single image. You can do this with Canva. Um, you know, you could put them together in like a Word document or a Google Sheet or something. And then you can just even just do a screenshot of that and just save that as an image, right? You don't have to pay for anything for this. You can do that for free. So I just downloaded two off the internet, put them together as one image, send it a prompt. And what this is doing is just waiting for that. It gets uh, the request so that we can download the file and actually save that as an uh, image, or we're going to analyze that image. Then when we analyze this image of Shaggy and Crunch Fitness, we send this to the edit image agent, which is really just setting it up so that we can send it off to fall.ai's queue to use Nano Banana to actually edit that image and put it together. So in this case, we have Shaggy in front of a building. Then we have this wait, get status, and if this is all, all this is doing is just waiting for the status to be completed. Then we send it off to the video agent, which again is just setting up for Bayo 3 to create an eight second video. We're only creating one eight second video because it is not cheap, right? I think it initially was $3.50 when I tried this a week ago. And when I just tried it again, it was almost $6. I, I'm pretty sure it was almost $6. The way I saw the money go down, I'm pretty sure it was $6. Just to let you know, it's not cheap. So step three, we're going to be creating the video with Veo 3. So we actually retrieve the image. The way it was kind of set up, it, it seemed kind of strange with, with fall.ai, but I have this, again, you don't have to worry about any of this. You actually retrieve the image from fall.ai. You send it off to Veo 3 as I think a URL so that we can create the video. Then we'll wait till that is complete. And then we send that back to us in Telegram. Okay, so we have four steps to make all of this happen. Oh, and by the way, you can get all of my templates for free in my school community down in the description below. Okay, so here it is, me sending the image of Shaggy and the background of Crunch Fitness. I just kind of have a simple prompt here. And then this is the actual, this is it taking the video. So let's go ahead and just watch this. This gym is absolutely incredible. The equipment is top notch. The trainers are so motivating. Yeah, bro. So there are a couple things you need to make this work. The first thing is, is you need a fall.ai API key. So if you go to fall.ai, you log in, you can go over here to your account. Once you do that, there is an API keys up here. You should go there and you're going to create an API key. And then the way to set up this bot ID, it's actually really should probably just be all of your tokens or IDs, but you're going to have a fall API key. You're just going to input that API key right there. And then this one right here, the access token, this is also for N8N. So you're going to go over to N8N credentials. They already have a document on this. It's really good. I don't really need to go 
and explain this, but you're just going to just do this right here. These steps right here are exactly, they work to the T. I've done this exactly. And you just need to copy the bot token that it generates and add it as the token in an ATEN right here. So you'll get that and put that in right here. And then what I have here, this is like the chat ID. It's going to get that from the Telegram trigger and use that. So you don't have to worry about doing anything with it because we have a Telegram trigger, okay? And then up here for the edit image, get, get image and create video and getting the status, um, they're all using the fall API key. So it's going to just retrieve it from the settings right here. So it's gonna go ahead and do all that. You're gonna have the prompts for the edit image agent and the create video agent. And then finally, it's just going to send everything back to Telegram. And this HTTP request actually gets the video from Veo3. They, the requests are a little, little strange if you wanna ask me personally. Um, but like the get status is very similar. It just has slash status at the end for the API endpoint. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this. This is a great UGC automation that you again, you can get for free Join my school community, which will be in the description below. I was doing only coding automations, but I'm gonna be switching and doing way more anything automations or just no code automations in general. But there are some use cases where I will start to kind of come out with and doing some courses on where, you know, whenever you actually build something for a client, well, you could make it do everything, but sometimes coding is easier, but you can bridge the gap between both of these um, to make that happen for in production use cases. But for now, I'm gonna be focusing way more on no coding and showing you exactly how you can do these and sell those to customers. But that will be my free school community. I can't wait to see you there. In the meantime, here are some more videos. I'll see you next one.